Hello, hello, Amazon. You guys, this is my very first, very first live. I'm so excited. I'm Jackie, co-founder of Plant Chicks. We're gonna do a little yoga flow today. We're going to wait a few minutes before we get started. I just have to put on my glasses so I can see my little screen here. Welcome, welcome. So excited. Having a little dance party with myself. <laughs> you know what's gonna be really funny? I have an Amazon package being delivered at some point today, and I'm not sure what time it's gonna get here. I would love it if it actually gets delivered during my live. That would be so much fun. I'm gonna grab my water. So, hello, hello. Hello, you guys, I'm so excited. Hi, so hi everybody. I am Jackie, co-founder of Plant Chicks. And one cool thing is Marcia is on the back end. She's gonna be typing back and forth and talking to you guys. I am also going to come up here and check in and see what you guys are saying. So it's gonna be fun. Hey, and I also want to remind you that Marcia is doing Meal Prep with Marcia on Thursday. And this week it's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern, one o'clock central. So it's going to be super, super, super exciting. And today we're going to be doing a yoga flow. All you need is your yoga mat. So grab your yoga mat and you know, we, I want to set an intention for today and you can use this intention for yourself or you can come up with your own intention. But this intention, I actually saw it from Louise Hay, and she's amazing. Um, this, this intention is, I claim my power and move, be, and move beyond all limitations. I claim my power and move beyond all limitations. All right, so I am going to have a little bit of water. I'm gonna throw my hair back up, take off my glasses, and we're going to get started. So. If you guys want, you can turn on some of your own music because that way, like, instead of me playing music, and I don't have my speakers with me, but instead of me playing music, then uh, you guys can listen to your own music, which is way more fun, right? So yeah, let's jam. Let's have a good time. And type in the comments, like, what, what, what are you wanting to do with your yoga today? Or like... Me, I've been sitting a lot, and I'm gonna show you some products because my sister brought something with her when she was here. I'm here in Athens at my mom's house. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that she has. But I've been sitting a lot, and I have to tell you, my back is tight, my shoulders are tight, my hips are tight. So with that being said, I want you to come to a seated position. If your hips are tight, you might want to grab either a yoga block or a pillow, and you can actually sit on the yoga block or pillow. So if you're sitting down and your knees come up, they come higher than your hips, then it is better to elevate your hips and so you're sitting up, right? Does that make sense? So sit in a comfortable position. I actually like to sit in like half lotus. It's way more comfortable on my body, but do you turn on a little bit of music and let's get this party started. So let's go ahead and gently close our eyes and just focus on your breath. In yoga, the breathing is inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Good, keep on going, keep breathing. I'm just gonna come up and check. Make sure you check in and say hello. All right, I'm gonna see you guys. I'm gonna bring my glasses so I can see back, a little bit further back. And from here, I want you to bring your hands to prayer to heart center. Take a deep breath in, 
set an intention for yourself today. Maybe something bigger, bolder, something bigger, greater than yourself. For all those collective souls out there, and let's go ahead and inhale as you bring your arms up above your head and exhale, lower them down. You can open your eyes. Again, let's inhale, arms come up and exhale as you drop your hands in front of your body. From here, I want you to walk your hands out in front of you. I just get a nice deep stretch in that lower back and also in your hips. Getting a really good stretch here. And as you inhale, let's go ahead and walk your hands over to the right side of your body. Getting a nice good stretch in the left side of your body. And try to focus on your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On your next inhale, let's go ahead and slowly walk your hands to the center and over to the left. And get a really nice, good stretch on your side body. Oh, my right side is way tighter. And that's one thing you might notice that one side has a little more, bit more tension. And if you do notice that, try and breathe into that area that might be a little tight or restricted to see if you can, when you exhale, if you can lengthen and relax a little bit more into that area that's tight. On your next inhale, let's go ahead and bring your hands to the center and slowly walk your hands up towards your body. Now, if you're sitting cross-legged, I want you to sit the opposite way. It's kind of like when you hold your hands, when you clasp your hands and then you're told to do it the opposite way. It feels totally wonky. But I want you guys to do this because now we're gonna stretch out the other hip. So again, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, lower down. And inhale, arms come up. Exhale, lower them down in front of you and go ahead and slowly walk them out to the front. And hold right here. Giving a nice, beautiful stretch. Inhale, walking your hands over to the left side of your body this time. If you want to increase the intensity, the right hand can come on top of the left hand. Just try and relax and breathe into that stretch. Good, let's go ahead and inhale, walk your hands back to the center and over to the right. Good, and notice if you feel a little bit different with your legs sitting this way and stretching from side to side, just paying attention, noticing where your body is. Good, inhale, bring it to the center. And slowly walk your hands back up towards your body. Inhale, arms come up, left hand stays on the ground, right arm reaches up and over. Let's get a really nice side body stretch. Good, inhale, come up and switch sides. Exhale as you lean over. Good, one more time, each side. Inhale, up and exhale, over. You know, I really want to thank you for tuning into today's live, getting in this amazing stretch. This is something, hey, let me know. Where are you doing this yoga? Are you at work? Are you working from home? Let me know. All right, from here, let's take it on to all fours. And let's do that lovely cat and cow. And let's see if my mom's cat can come in and <laughs> do this cat and cow stretch. Wouldn't that be cute? So you inhale as you arch your back and look up to the sky. And you exhale as you round the shoulders, contract your abdominals, getting a good stretch in your upper back. Good, do that several more times. And take it to your own breath. And keep going back and forth between that cat and cow. I really like, you're working from home, awesome. Me too, obviously. Yeah, I want to hear where you guys are doing the yoga from. Super, super amazing. And what other workouts do you guys want to do? If you don't know, Marcia Prince, who's typing back and forth, she is like trainer extraordinaire. She has literally every single 
accolade with fitness and training, top fitness trainer in Dallas and actually all over the US. She's got a bazillion certifications in fitness and we have so many workout programs for you so we can do whatever kind of workouts you guys wanna see. All right, now you're still doing those cat and cows. And from here, let's go ahead and just start taking it slowly, rocking it around in a circle. This you're doing, like you can make the circles as small as you want or as big as you want. And then so you just listen to your body Good, let's go ahead and reverse directions if you haven't done so already. Really getting a nice, good stretch in there. And one of these nice things with Amazon Live, there's that carousel down below, and you'll see that we've got a bunch of different products here. Go ahead, go ahead and release it, bring it to center. Here, I want you to keep a neutral spine, and with your hands, you're going to flip the palms so they're facing up, your fingers are going to be facing your knees, just one palm at a time. And from here, this is a really good stretch for your wrists. And you guys, I'm on my travel mat because I'm at my mom's house. So it's a really, really thin mat and it's really, it's a Manduka travel mat. It's super light and it's really nice like if you're flying in like Costa Rica here, you're going to make a fist and then release. Make a fist and release. But I really, really like it. I'm actually going to order another mat that's a little bit thicker because it will have a little, little bit more cushion for my knees on my mom's hardwood floors. Okay, good. Go ahead and release it. Shake one hand out. Release, shake the other hand out. Place it down. Now this time, let's go ahead and turn your hands so your fingers are facing your knees. And this, you guys, Marcy and I work a lot more phones. Our business is virtual. So, <laughs> My wrist, ladies, are brutal. Okay, this hurts me. So you're just gonna gently rock back and forth. Now, if you're super flexible and your wrists are super, if they're not tight, like mine are extremely tight, this hurts me, then you just, you go to wherever you can. Some people can literally like lean way back. Not this one. <laughs> good, let's go ahead and release. Shake one arm out. And this stretch feels so good. Let's go ahead and Open the knees, bring your toes together, and let's take it down to our first child's pose. Holding here, getting a really good stretch. And what I want you to think about is think about me coming up and really massaging my hands on your lower back and pressing your tushy down towards the mat. And you guys, I wore my um, magnetic eyelashes today. You have to let me know what you think. <laughs> They're interesting, I'm learning. All right, let's go ahead and tuck your toes under and let's press it back to our first downward facing dog. From here, think about pressing your heels all the way down into the mat. You can walk the dog. And what I also want you to do is I want you to press away with the heels of your hands and you should feel a really nice stretch in your back. Think about spreading your shoulder blades and getting a really, really nice stretch in there. Slowly bring those feet a little bit closer together, about hip width apart. And from here, let's go ahead and inhale, bring the right leg up to a three-legged dog. Gently bend that knee, and you're gonna stack your hips on top of one another, and let's do some small knee circles. If you were struggling the knees in one direction. Good, let's go ahead and reverse directions. Excellent. And release, bring it back to that three-legged dog and press your leg down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left leg, inhale, raise it up. Bend that knee, stack the hips on top of one another and slowly do those knee circles. Opening up those hips. This is something I really need. <laughs> you have to let me know what's an area that you really wanna work on because I can do that for you next week. Good, let's go ahead and release. Bring the knee up to this, the ceiling. And exhale, bring it down. Good, let's go ahead and slowly walk those feet close to your hands. So you're gonna bring your hands, we're just folding forward, standing, standing forward fold. Grasp your elbows, and let's gently rock side to side. Getting a nice good stretch. If your hamstrings are tight, you're really gonna bend those knees. Listen to your body and do what 
what you need to do for your body. You got it. Good, let's go ahead and release. Relax the hands down to the ground. Now, if you can't touch the ground, you're gonna be right here, but I really want you to be mindful and keep your core nice and tight. And let's go ahead and slowly tuck your chin over under, and let's go ahead and slowly roll it up to a standing position. From here, we are going to do our very first Suri Namaskar A, or Sun Salutation A. Don't worry, I don't say a lot of the other words because I can't pronounce them. Seriously, true story. Okay, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. And now I want you to step your right leg back, left leg follows, you're in a high plank. Now let's go ahead and slowly lower it all the way down to the mat. And we're gonna do our very first cobra. So we inhale, raise the chest up. Think about relaxing the shoulders. Arms can be bent or straight. Exhale, lower down. Now notice on the cobra, the quadriceps stay on the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, raise the chest up. Now from here, let's go ahead, look over the right shoulder, and bring it to the center, look over the left shoulder. Good, bring it back to the center, lower down. One more cobra, please. Good, inhale, raise up. And exhale, tuck the toes under, push it back into your first, or your second downward facing dog. Excellent, and from here, let's go ahead and step the right foot forward, Left leg follows. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Tadasana is just standing right here, like a tree. And I have to do a little dance. <laughs> all right, let's do that again. We'll speed it up a little bit more. But we're gonna take it into a vinyasa. But if you like that cobra where your quadriceps stay on the mat, by all means, do that. We want you to listen to your body. So that's beautiful. Your balance is horrible. Girl, me too. We will definitely be doing some stuff on our balance today. And that's actually one of the things that happens when, as we age. And I'm going to spring chicken. I'm 51. Almost forgot how old I was. All right, let's do a surrey non-scar eight sun salutation. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, step the feet back to a high plank, or you can jump them back. And now here, you're going to lower down to a low plank. Let's hold it here for a minute. Now, if you want to, you can actually go all the way down to a cobra, or all the way down to the mat and then do a cobra. Or, if you're in the low plank, you're going to scoop forward to an upward-facing dog. And then exhale, downward-facing dog. And you're going to hold this for five breaths. Good. You got this. And breathing. And you know what? We're all, so thir you're 31 year old male. Okay, sorry dude. <laughs> We're so used to working with chicks and thank you for joining us, seriously. So, no, this is really, really good and we'll do some different, we'll do some more stretches. It's good. We'll keep this a very gentle flow. All right, two more breaths. Good, and exhale, go ahead and step your right foot to the top of the mat. Left leg follows. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana with the dance. And guys can dance too. All right, don't leave me standing. All right, let's do another one. We're going to add on a little bit. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, step the feet back to a high plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from here, you're gonna raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Bring your knee to your nose. Hold it here for a breath. This is working your core. And exhale, step your foot in between your hands. You're gonna come into a high lunge. Good, we're just gonna hold this. Now this can be really tricky for balance. So here, we're gonna do some lunges. So you're going to 
Tap your back knee down towards the mat, and then you're going to extend it, and you're going to straighten up. So you're going to tap the back knee down, and exhale as you stand up. So inhale. Ready? Sorry, I need to obviously put my phone on do not disturb. So we're going to do that 10 times. Now, you were saying that your balance is bad, right? This happens as we age, even though you're 31 and however old everyone else is, is on here, it happens. Our balance gets off. So it's really important that we work agility and neuromotor exercises, of which yoga, come on, we do a lot of that. Let's do three more. There's three, two, and now we're gonna hold it down here for little pulses for 10, nine, eight, whew, four, three, two, one, and from here, bring it to a high lunge. We're gonna hold right here now, bring your hands to prayer, heart center. I want you to lean forward. Here we're working our stability muscles. So we're gonna take it to a warrior three. We extend that leg and we're balancing. So keep holding that. You should really feel this in your glutes. Really, really important that we do this. Go Marcia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love having Marcia here. I just wish she was alive with me. Well, she is, but she's on there. All right, two more reps. Last one, go ahead and drop your left leg back to the ground. And from here, come back to that high lunge. And now I want you to step it forward. From here, your knee is up, and I want you to do a figure four. So your left foot comes on top of your right knee, and you're going to lower down. Now, if you need to, you can have a chair, actually, like here. I can hold on to the fireplace for a little bit more toward our stability. Do what you need to do. But it is important that you try and do this without any props. Good, release. Shake it out. Shake it out. Let's do a little dance break. Because if you guys are new to the Plant Chicks Amazon page, first of all, please, please, please follow our page so you can get notifications of all of our live streams. But Marcy and I, we do dance breaks all the time. We're always doing dance parties. And Plant Chicks, we empower women to get off the fat diet and onto a sustainable lifestyle, which is all about delicious food and exercise in our incredible community, Plant Chicks Tribe. All right, now I have to do the same thing on the other side. And how about, I'm totally out of breath from the dance party. All right, that's the way it happens. All right, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, raise halfway up. Exhale, step the legs back to a high plank. Go ahead and lower down. Inhale, but we're doing the vinyasa now. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now this time we raise the left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knee to your nose. And now step the left foot through in between your hands. Inhale, raise up. We're in a high lunge. You should be getting a really nice, good stretch in your hip flexor or your right hip flexor. Let's just hold this here for a minute. Now we get to do those lunges. So we tap the right knee down. Oh, this actually feels good when I can do one of these stretches. And <laughs> raise it up. If you haven't noticed, I have a little bit of ADD and I kind of go like on tangents, but it's all good. All right, you're doing this with me. We're gonna do 10 from here. Woo! Good. Make sure you're breathing. Here's the last five. Last four. Last three. Two. And one little pulses for ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to your high lunge. Now here, bring your hands to prayer, heart center. Lean forward. Larry the cat just looked over. 
you're transitioning your weight to your left leg, your front leg. You're going to step it forward. Ooh, for warrior three. And you're holding it here. You should be getting a really good stretch in the left glute, hip flexor, all of it. Oh my gosh, let's see how are you? So good seeing you guys. Oh, I love having you guys here. I wish that we could do this in person someday soon. Thank you for joining. Good, a couple more breaths. And go ahead and release. Right knee, bring it up. And now we're gonna do that standing figure four. So right ankle crosses over the left knee. You're gonna slowly lower down. You should get a really nice, good stretch in that back hip flexor. Keep going. Have to have water. Gotta do it. Marcia actually got me this flask. And I think on day one, I literally dropped it and got a, like a big old dent. But let me tell you, this bad boy works. The water stays cold in here for like days. It's down in our carousel, so Ooh, check it out. All right, come up, sorry, I'm like killing you. I hate it when yoga teachers do that. You like can't be in that same position forever. Good, go ahead and release it, and let's shake out those legs. All right, let's do a vinyasa, just to get our wrist foot back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, step or jump to deep back. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And hold it here for five breaths. If you need to, you can take it here to a child's pose. Do what's best for you. Yes. I actually have a water up here too. It's the soda stream, which is so much fun. And I love that you guys are talking to Marcia as well. You guys are awesome. You have some horrible, horrible balance. Horrible balance. All right, guys. If you're in your child's pose, bring it to a downward facing dog. Exhale, you're going to step or jump your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Let's do another one. Let's bring it down to the floor. Let's actually do a chair pose. Let's, we'll do a, um, we'll do some salutation beats. Sorry, I'm sorry. So you're going to inhale. You're going to bring it into a chair pose. Your hands can either be together, together, sorry, or apart. But I want you to think about tucking your pelvis in and forward and sit as low as you can. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump the feet back. Vinyasa. Good. Meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg. Bring the right knee to the right, to the nose. Step your foot in between your hands. Raise it up to warrior one. So warrior one, your back foot is perpendicular to your front foot. And your heel, try and press that heel all the way down towards the mat. Good, exhale, fold forward. Step the right foot back, lower down, vinyasa. You got this. All right, left leg raises up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it here for a breath. Step your foot in between your hands, raise it up. Warrior one. Excellent. Hold there for just a minute. Good. Exhale. Let's take it down to a vinyasa. And I will meet you guys in downward facing dog. Hold here for three breaths. Are you guys playing music? I want to know. And tell us what kind of workouts you'd like us to do. On your next exhale, you're going to step up and jump your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, tadasana. All right, we're going to do another round, but we're going to add on a little bit. All right, inhale, arms come up, chair pose. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, step or jump the feet back. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right knee foot to the ceiling. 
knee to the nose. And from here, I want you to raise it back up to the ceiling. And now bring the knee to the right elbow. We're working those, the abdominal area. Inhale, knee as the leg is up. Exhale, cross it over so the right knee goes to the left elbow. Inhale, bring the knee to the nose one more time. Hold it here. And now let's drop it down to pigeon. So your right foot goes towards your left hand. And then you're going to walk that back leg out. Now if you have a yoga block, which you don't have, but if you're tight, so for all the people that are tight out there that are really stiff, grab a yoga block and put it underneath that right hip. And from here you can inhale, and then you exhale as you fold forward. You guys, we're gonna hold this for a little bit. I want you to sit in this. Here, we hold a lot of emotions in our hips. So you're gonna hold it here. And I really want you to think about your intention that you set for yourself today. Because this can be, this can kind of get uncomfortable and it's gonna be important that you think of something bigger than you to help get you through some of these uncomfortable positions. And you know what, Nicole, is it, no, Nicola. Nicola, if you want to be able to touch your toes, it takes practice. I have not always been, I don't even think I can touch my toes. I can't fold in half like I used to it anymore. But it's because I don't practice yoga as much. And literally, like one of the things with Marcia and I on, in our fitness programs, we always have stretching at the end because it's so important. That's one of the, that's a, a component of physical fitness. So it's super, super important that we have, that we're able, that we have flexibility. Okay, from here, I want you to go ahead and walk your hands up towards your knee. Now, if you can, you can bend the back foot and get a really nice stretch. You can grab that ankle, you can get a really nice stretch. If you have a yoga strap, and when I get home, I do have a yoga strap, but it's really nice, you can put the yoga strap or a towel around your ankle and you can hold it, you can pull it up. It's like phenomenal. So yummy and delicious. Good, let's go ahead and release. And from here, let's bring that left leg, circle it around, and the left foot is extended straight out in front of you. Right foot is bent in, Johnny Shurshasana. See, I can't say that word. All right, inhale, arms come up, and exhale, fold forward. This might be your folding forward. If this hurts to sit like this, again, you're gonna sit on a, on a yoga block or on a towel so you can have your hips elevated. But you're going to exhale, you're folding forward to what feels good for you. And you want to think about bringing your knee or your, your forehead towards your toes. And I also want you to think about squeezing your knee and pressing your knee, the back of your knee, down towards the mat. Hey, who else is sweating? I'm like sweating over here. It's kind of crazy town. <laughs> so let me know if you're sweating with me. Good, let's go ahead and release it. From here, we're gonna do a funky vinyasa. So if you have yoga blocks, and I promise at home I've got my yoga blocks, I might have to order some on Amazon, you guys, and have them so I can do some of the, the stuff on yoga blocks here at my mom's house. But if you have yoga blocks, you can actually use the yoga blocks and you're gonna lift your body up and then you're going to press your legs back behind you and you're gonna go through a vinyasa. But if you don't have yoga blocks, you're from that Johnny Shurshasana, you're just going to slowly cross your legs. And if you can, I do want you to try and lift up because this is really good for your core and there's a lot of strength there. You can also put your hands in front like you're on all fours, and then shoot back. Go through your vinyasa. Good, knee in downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna hold this for just a minute. And we have to do the same thing on the other side. So left leg reaches up, bring the knee to the nose, hold it here for one breath. Inhale, raise the leg up. Left knee to left elbow. Holding here, working those cores, the core. 
because all of a sudden we have more than one core. Oh my goodness. All right, left knee to right elbow. Hold it here, how you guys feeling? Inhale, bring it up. Bring the knee to the nose. Hold it here. Slowly drop your, your shin down towards the mat. Walking the right leg back behind you. We can raise it up and slowly walk it out. Again, remember if you are tight, if you have your yoga block or if you have a pillow, it can go under that left hip. And we're going to hold that. Breathing there. Hey, you know what? Marcy and I, we do have these Plant Chicks programs, fitness and nutrition programs. Even though we're Plant Chicks, we really do. We focus on women. But since we do have some dudes on here, it's for you guys too. But we have a code specifically to you guys. Um, go to our website, plantchicks.com, P-L-A-N-T-C-H-I-C-S, and you can get 10% off any of our programs when you use the code AMAZON10. So hopefully you guys can do that. Good, so I'm always sweating. It's crazy town. All right, keep holding that. Couple more breaths. And hopefully, I don't even know if you guys are listening to music and what kind of music are you listening to? I watched a couple different Amazon lives and sometimes they do have music on in the background. It's kind of fun. Now, I'm like kind of rocking back and forth so it feels good, like my hips are super, super duper tight. And it feels kind of nice to do that. But listen to your body. Do what is what feels good for you. You're gonna inhale, walk your hands up towards the center. And just like we did on the other side, you're gonna bend that back knee. And if you have that yoga strap, can you put the yoga strap or towel that will go around your ankle? And you're gonna hold it here. Getting that good, good stretch. Uh, you know, mindset, you guys, is super, super duper important. Yoga is kind of nice because go ahead and release that, and let's go ahead and bring that right foot around. Extend it right, it's straight out in front of you. Left foot is bent in towards you. Inhale, arm come up. Try and keep that leg straight if you can. Thinking about pressing the knee down towards the mat, and if your hip, if this is uncomfortable, you're going to be sitting on a towel or on your mat. I mean, on your block. So, nice and tight here. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, fold forward. Listen to your body. So you might just be here. It doesn't matter. The only competition in yoga is within this mat. Yourself. You want to listen to your body and do what feels good for your body. This is one of my favorite stretches. I think I do it literally in every single yoga practice I teach. It's just crazy. So yoga is big time about mindset, breath work, which we are going to do a little bit of breath work. Move that in just a minute. And mindset, you guys, it's crucial. Hold it here for just a couple more breaths. Your mindset is really, really big. On our Amazon page, and I actually featured a couple books here, um, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Holy, amazing book. If you have not read this book, let me tell you, you have to get it. It's so crazy. It's so amazing. Like literally, our habits create who we are. And we can change those habits at any time. What we have to want, we have to be willing. And then you've got to take that action. Like you can figure out how to do all this, but if you don't take action, nothing happens. So it's going to be really crazy, amazing. Hey, Tiffany. Oh, I was raining in Dallas or in Fresco. Nice. It's actually sunny here. It's kind of been raining back and forth, but it's sunny in Athens. My mom's neighborhood is beautiful. Oh, like, let's go ahead and release. And the classical music literally sounds fabulous. So you're walking up. And from here, we're not going to do another vinyasa. What I want you to do, we're going to go into some breath work. And from here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the books while we're doing breath work. So I want you to sit in a comfortable position. We're gonna do a little alternate nostril breathing. You guys, does anyone else like me? Like I pretty much always have to put on my shoes <laughs> before I walk around. I haven't been doing that the whole time in this life that I normally do. But literally, okay, so we're gonna be doing some alternate nostril breathing. What I want you to do is I want you to make a fist with your right hand. 
And with, from there, I want you to extend your thumb and your ring finger and your pinky finger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your right thumb on your right nostril, and then your left ring finger is gonna go on your left nostril. And what we're gonna do is we are going to be breathing in from one side, and then we're gonna exhale from the other, and then repeat and do it both ways, and I'll walk you through it. But what, what this is, let me just explain it a little bit. With alt alternate nostril breathing, we're breathing, we're bringing oxygen into both sides of our brain. So our right side of the brain is our parasympathetic nervous system, which is like the rest and digest, rest and relax, that area, or those motions. And then the left side of our brain is the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight or flight. And we really do want to have a balance between the two as much as possible. So when we do this alternate nostril breathing, it helps bring us into a little bit more right alignment, a little bit more balance. And it's really great because we're doing this on your lunch break and then you get to go back to work and you'll be more balanced and focused. So with this alternate nostril breathing, the left hand or left thumb or right thumb, I'm sorry, right thumb is on the right nostril, left ring or right ring finger, holy moly, is on the left nostril. You're going to leave the left ring or the right ring finger I just have to stop saying left and right. Leave it off the nostril. You're going to inhale through the left nostril. And when you get to the top of the breath, think about breathing in for like three breaths. You're going to close both nostrils, hold it here for just a breath or just for a second. And then you're going to relax the thumb and then you're going to exhale and breathe out of the left nostril. You're gonna pinch it here just for a sec. And then open again, you're going to inhale through the left nostril. Pinch off both sides gently, just for a second. Relax the uh, ring finger and exhale through the left nostril. All right, that's one round. So let's do it together. We'll do it, I'll do it with you a couple times and then I'm gonna let you guys do it on your own. And you might notice, you might get like a little nervous or whatever at the beginning, but it's okay, it's like totally normal. And you'll notice that one side, you can breathe a little bit more clearly. It's kind of interesting. So you're going to inhale through the left nostril, close it off, open the right, exhale through the right nostril for three, two, one, hold, we don't have to clamp. Inhale through the right, one, two, three, clamp it off, exhale through the left nostril for three, two, one. Hold, inhale left, two, three, hold. Open and exhale through the right, two, three, hold. Inhale through the right, two, three, clamp. Open left, exhale for three, two, one. One more time all together. Inhale through the left, two, three, shut it off. Open through and exhale through the right, two, three, hold. Inhale through the right, two, three, clamp it off. Exhale through the left, two, three. Now you guys keep going as I wipe my nose. So you guys keep doing this. You can close your eyes. I'll talk to you while you are going through these breathing exercises. I want you to do about six rounds doesn't have to be exact. But one of the things that's super important is our thoughts. When we say negative things about ourselves, even if we're just saying it internally to ourselves, then we start acting that way. And that does not serve you at all. And we want you to start really thinking about the way you're talking to yourself and the actions that you're taking. What are some things that you really wanna accomplish in life? I want you to think about this and what actions can you take today to get yourself a little bit closer to those steps or to that lifestyle that you want? We're gonna do a couple more rounds. Now, another book that I have featured in our carousel 
is the happiness advantage. I don't forget the author's first name. I actually went to a retreat and this book was the book that we were reading at the retreat. It was amazing. This gentleman that wrote the book is from Harvard. He actually taught happiness, a happiness course at Harvard, and it had one of the highest enrollment rates. It's crazy, and it's literally, it's such an incredible book. We have to do things that bring us happiness and joy. So what are some things that you can do for yourself today to bring you a little bit of happiness and joy? It's really important. Companies, even when they're going through downsizing, which is a perfect time, perfect conversation to have right now because of, of COVID and pandemic and everything. One of the things, when you have happy employees, they're more productive. When you're a happy employee or you are a happy boss, people respond so differently to you. And it's really, it's kind of crazy just how a simple thought can completely change our whole outlook of the day, change the outcomes of the day. It's really, really, really quite powerful. All right, let's do one more round of that breathing. You're going to stop on your last time that you're exhaling through your left nostril. And I want you to remind, I want to remind you of the intention that I mentioned at the beginning of this live. I claim my power and move beyond all limitations. I claim my power and move beyond all limitations. Anything is possible, anything. Marcia and I believe in you. It's one of the things that with our Plant Chicks tribe, we have such an incredible community. So it's so wonderful. And we would love to see you. Come on, join us. We're over on Facebook. On all of our, on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, LinkedIn, it's all Plant Chicks, P-L-A-N-T. C-H-I-C-S. Thank you, Marcia. Happiness Advantage by Sean Anker. Yes, Sean Anker. Harvard. He's incredible. All right, so you should be on your last side of the breath work. And I just want you to sit comfortably, eyes closed. And you can just gently and slowly bring it back to your natural breath. Noticing how the breathing is through either side, through both sides. Did it change throughout this exercise? When you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. And from here, I want you to unwash your legs. We're going to take it out to a short savasana or corpse pose. So you're going to lay down flat on your back. You're going to hold it here just briefly, taking it all in. And Marcia and I want to thank you for joining us on our live today. We look forward to bringing you more lives. Let us know what kind of workouts you'd like, what kind of meal preps. Marcia is doing meal prep with Marcia on Thursday at 1 p.m. Central, so 2 o'clock Eastern. She's been cooking some delicious recipes. I loved that last week, I woke up with her. Sorry I'm talking too much, Joy and Savasana. <laughs> You're like, shut up, Jackie. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go ahead and bend the knees. We're gonna take your arms out to a T position and go ahead and slowly drop your knees over to the right side of the body, head turns to the left, getting a nice good stretch in your lower back, relaxing. Inhale, bring the knees up to the center, exhale, knees drop to the left, head turns to the right, hold here, and relax and just breathe into it. Good, let's go ahead and release, bring it up. Let's pull the knees into the chest, holding it here, and let's take it into a happy baby. So you're gonna grab the outside of your feet. You can extend one leg and then the other and switch sides. Do what feels good to you. 
my left foot is about to hit my mom's soda stream. So you guys might be wondering why I have a soda stream here. The reason I have soda stream is because my mother, I met my mom, she just had hip surgery, so I'm helping her as she heals and gets better. But she's obsessed with this bubbly water and I have to say, I am too. And I'm gonna have to order this and get one at home because it's so delicious. And it's super, super easy. You just use regular water. You can use tap water, you can use your Mountain Valley water, whatever water you get at home. You just put it in this little container. I already made some fizzy water. It's halfway full. Mom and I are drinking it. And you just pop it in here, super easy peasy. Good, go ahead and relax and you're going to hold behind your knees and let's slowly rock it up and back and forth to a seated position. Sit however is comfortable. Inhale, arms come up. Clasp your hands together, grab them together. Bring your hearts, your hands to prayer center. Let's take a deep collective breath in, inhaling love and gratitude and exhaling peace and happiness to everybody on this live. Thank you for flowing with us today, with me today, but I'm not done yet. You guys, uh, my friends, my mom, we just got her a ninja, and I'm going to make a smoothie. Thank you, please keep coming back and let us know, like what exercises do you want? You said you're super tight, We'll do, I, I would love to do yoga every week. I'm totally, totally, completely down for that. Let me know what areas in your body you really wanna stretch and I can incorporate that and bring it into the workout. I'm so down with it. Yoga is amazing, good. Let us know, seriously. But you guys, I'm going to make a smoothie on my mom, with my mom's ninja. It's super easy. So I'm kinda of spoiled at my mom's. She actually has daily harvest, which, I hadn't had daily harvest until I came to her house. And daily harvest is not on um, Amazon, but I'm making a ginger and greens for us. It's really good. And everyone always asks about my mala beads. I actually put a link to some mala beads in the carousel. But these mala beads are pretty cool. Right here, you just add a little bit of water. You fill it up in this daily harvest container. Y'all don't laugh. If it like spills everywhere, I would not be surprised. So I'm going to put it in the ninja. Um, let's see, <laughs> you guys can't see that, but it literally just got all over my mat. I need to grab a towel. I'm connecting this. But my mala beads are actually a friend of mine did some yoga teacher training down in India, over in India. But this ninja, and he brought it back for me. So amazing. I love Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. You need to watch one day. All right, so this ninja, super easy. If you don't want to hear it, plug your ears for a minute. Like, literally, it cannot be any easier than that. I'm going to do another little thing. I think I need to add a little bit of water, actually, a little bit more water. Marcia might actually like it. Marcia likes her smoothies thick. I like mine thin. How do you guys like your smoothies? Now, I'm just adding straight up water to my smoothie, but you guys, you can add like coconut water, you can add a plant milk, you can add anything you want, and you can even add more stuff in here if you'd like. But this bad boy, this ginger and greens, has a little bit of everything, so I'm not adding anything extra. Some people like to add protein powder. Um, we actually like a protein powder called Love Compliment. You can, Marcia, can you write down the code for Love Compliment? Because the people can say protein powder. And what I'm using, I'm using the Ninja Professional 900. And I hope you're making a little smoothie or making something to have with me and wrap for a minute. I do want to talk to you guys for just a little bit and see like what you guys would like to do for what is this frozen banana and cherries make it thick yes literally and then just less liquid too let's see you wish your blender broke you guys literally this ninja is amazing my mom she had a blender that wasn't working well 
and this Ninja is a game changer. I, I have a blend tech at home, but I think that I might have to get one of these bad boys. Do you guys do that? Oh my gosh. This is so good. I'm spilling it everywhere. I actually poured one for my mom. I wish I could give one to you guys, seriously. But um, let me grab this. This is Bailey Harvest. Ginger and greens. What are you guys making for lunch? I wanna hear what you're eating. Banana, spinach, avocado, ginger, lemon, flaxseed. Did you know flaxseed? You wanna have ground flaxseed every day. It's really, really, really good. If you, have, if you suffer from belly bloat, ground flaxseed is one of the best things you can do for it, literally. Like taking two tablespoons of ground flaxseed every day is amazing. And this has some in it. What's 59 is your price? Yes. That Vitamix is way worth it. The ginger, you guys. What? It's so <laughs> flipping good. And you know what? This whole this Ninja, the blender, I think it's only $59. It's here on the carousel. It's crazy amazing good. So definitely check it out and let us know what you think. So we will veggie sushi burrito. Yes, that sounds really, really good. Hey, and I want to ask you guys too. Remember. Follow us on our Amazon page. Give, a, give Plant Checks a follow because every time we go live, you'll get a notification and you come join us. We do workouts. We also do meal prep. One day I'll eventually get in the kitchen, but whenever I'm in the kitchen, it's gonna be super easy peasy because I do not like to cook that much. Every once in a while, I'll like jam to it. And there will be some dance parties. I wanna hear what, what everyone's doing this week too. Let's hear. Oh, a lentil soup, that sounds good. You know, with the Vitamix, you can make soups in there. That's one thing with Blendtec, you can't make hot foods, you can only make cold foods. So I kind of like Vitamix for that point, which is really amazing. You're flying to New Orleans. Where do you live? And wh why are you going to New Orleans? Is this for work? I actually used to be in medical sales and I worked a lot with Oshner and I was always, always, always flying to New Orleans. Loved the thoracic surgeons that I worked with there, but could not stand the food. Literally, I only ate at Whole Foods. I would always go to Whole Foods. And you know what you can do now? And I actually ordered uh, Instacart, which is now Amazon Prime, but I did that, like I'd have to do lunches and I would order Amazon Prime basically, or it's not called Amazon Prime, what is it called? Anyway, it was so nice, you can have Amazon deliver. And I was hoping that my Amazon package would arrived during my live and I was gonna bring the Amazon delivery driver onto the live. How funny would that have been? Oh well. All right guys. Well, I can't thank you enough for being here. I will be back next Tuesday doing some kind of yoga something and probably do like a little bit of sculpt yoga or something. Let me know. You let me know what you would like us to do for workouts. Marcy is gonna do workouts. She is the yoga, yoga. She is the workout queen connoisseur. And let me know, how do you like the magnetic lashes? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I have so much makeup on for this workout. It's so much fun. Louise TK, this is great, but your audio echo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you know what? It might be because they're hardwood floors and I might need like a carpet or something. That could be the echo. I have no idea because I'm using my AirPods. Thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate it. Yes, I really do appreciate that. All right. And you guys, thank you so much for being here. Follow us on Amazon, on our Amazon page, Plant Chicks. Check us out on any social media platform. Plant, we're at Plant Chicks, P-L-A-N-T-C-H-I-C-S. And we can't wait to meet you. We can't wait for the quarantine or the pandemic to lift where we can do more travel because Marcy and I like to do live events. And you know what would be a lot of fun actually is the next time we do a live event, if we could actually do a live stream on Amazon with all of you guys. How cool would that be? Let us know. All right, you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Come back here Thursday, two o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Central for meal prep with Marcia. She's gonna be making two or three different dishes 
from some of our Plant Chicks programs. And just so you know, Plant Chicks, we empower women to get off fad diets and on a sustainable lifestyle. We have an amazing community of women. We support and lift one another up in our wellness journey. So if you are looking for an incredible, incredible tribe, ladies, come on over to Facebook and request to join our Plant Chicks tribe. All right, you guys, have an amazing Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday for Marcia's Live, and I'll be doing all the typing and the texting back and forth. All right, you guys have, yes, we definitely need a Plant Chicks retreat. We cannot wait. All right, bye, guys. Love you.